Are you looking for another stimulus check? Well, you just make it your wish. The Emergency Money for the People Act was introduced by Tim Ryan, who is an Ohio congressman, and Ro Khanna, who is a California congressman. We're going to look into the facts and look into the bill in this Friday's Bits, Tips, and Tricks. Stay tuned. If you're new to this channel, my name is Jared and I post helpful bits, tips, and tricks every single Friday helping you gain financial freedom through personal finances, stock market, and real estate investments. If you learned anything from this video today, please be sure to hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell so you get notified each and every Friday I post more relevant content for you. Did you already get your first round of stimulus checks? Let me know in the comments down below because I'm still waiting on mine. I have no idea what the holdup is, but I'm assuming since you're here for your second round, you probably got your first one. Leave a comment down below if you've already got yours. Now the Emergency Money for the People Act will provide up to $5,500 for families, $4,000 for married couples, and $2,000 for individuals. And the main advocates for this bill are Tim Ryan, who is a Ohio congressman in District 13, and Ro Khanna, who is a congressman in California in District 17. Now, there are a couple of key differences between the original stimulus check for the $1,200 and this new stimulus check. So let's go after some of those different things now. Those who had no earnings or were unemployed or are still unemployed will be eligible for this round of stimulus. And this eligibility will be extended for people who did not meet the original requirements for the 2018 or 2019 tax returns, but who have changes in their 2020 tax return. Unlike the CARES Act, anybody older than 16 who had earnings and are making less than $130,000 a year or $260,000 for couples are eligible. Now, under the Emergency Money for the People Act, the people who were overlooked or who did not qualify for the CARES Act cash rebates will be eligible this time around. The people who were students or adults with disabilities who were excluded because they were dependents will receive their stimulus money in this round, and the parents or guardians will receive the dependent credit. Also, qualifying families will receive $500 for up to three children. That means that you can collect a maximum of $1,500 and no more. Now, if you don't have children, do not go creating children during this time. Trust me, the $500 ain't worth it. The Emergency Money for the People Act will also make it easier for you to be able to receive your checks through direct deposit, prepaid debit cards, or through other transaction platforms such as PayPal or Venmo. By the way, these checks are monthly as well, so this is also a good thing because this is not a one-time payment, this is a monthly payment. Now, it's important to note where we stand with unemployment as well. As of this week, there was another 3.8 million Americans who filed for unemployment, which brings the total to 30.2 million Americans during this time since the pandemic started. Now, Federal Reserve Chairman Jerome Powell also encouraged the government to do more for their citizens in regards to stimulus checks this past Wednesday. And I think this comment sums it up pretty well. We'll print so much money you can't believe, and then we'll print more and more and then even more. We'll print until the stock of the dead last loser company goes through the roof, and we'll buy debt, all the bad debt, that will never be repaid anyways, and we'll buy it with the new printed dollar, and we'll print and print and you can't believe. But I would say the main key difference between the last stimulus check and this round of stimulus checks would be the income limits because you have up to $130,000 to be eligible for this, which I think qualifies more people than the original stimulus check. Now, in a relief survey conducted by WalletHub, they found that the majority of Americans want more money to go into the workers' hands and, of course, more Americans. Now, in this relief survey, it says that 84% of Americans want another wave of stimulus checks, which I believe to be true because who doesn't want more money in the long run 160 million americans are less than three months away from running out of money which also makes sense because the average american has less than a thousand dollars in their emergency fund in the first place nearly 24 million americans will buy drugs alcohol or tobacco with the stimulus money i guess the government can't really tell them what to do with the money so i guess it's all fair game they are part of the economy as well 56% of Americans say unemployment income should not exceed the people's pre-coronavirus income, uh, which to some certain extent may be true that people at Jamba Juice working are now collecting more unemployment income than they were when they were working. 
But this all adds to the economy anyway to stimulate it by them buying more things and spending more money and investing more anyway. Millennials are 25% more likely than baby boomers to think that stimulus checks should be given to people experiencing income loss. Ah, no comment there. 53% of Americans say businesses need coronavirus relief money more than consumers, which I would kind of agree with because if all the shops on your block are closed, then your community is not doing so well. You see a breakdown of small businesses, consumer, and big businesses in percentages here of who needs the relief money the most provided by this survey. 70% of Americans believe that government help should only be given to a business with a revenue loss, um, which should be the case. But however, you know that big corporations are always going to get a bailout. 30% of people think all businesses should get government assistance, which I agree with. 62% of people think all workers should get a stimulus check. And the 65% of people say that the stimulus check are more way, a more effective way of helping American families than canceling rent or mortgage payments, which I halfway agree with because of the statement below that 43% of people say that they would use a stimulus check to pay their rent or mortgage, which doesn't look so great for landlords in the first place. So that's kind of a sucky part. But a third of Americans say they would donate a part of their stimulus money to coronavirus relief. And to that, I say I will believe it when I see it. But there are some people who are helping others anyway during this time. Let's also take a look at some of the key details as well in the bill. Section 2A under general rule, you have three different sections here. Uh, first one stating that the treasury shall make a payment in each month of the payment period to the eligible individual. Those payments will be distributed within 14 days of this act being enacted. And the payment period term is a 12 month period beginning with the first month in which the secretary makes a payment. Also, the option of receiving payments under this section would be by direct deposit, check, prepaid debit card, or electronic transfer of payment through an electronic transfer application that even includes mobile devices, as I said before, such as Venmo or PayPal. Also here, you can see that if you've got three or more children, unfortunately, you cannot deduct more than three children or three dependents on your return for the taxable year. So that will be applied by substituting $1,500 for 500 given each child counts as one $500 bill. And if you'd like more information to read on your own, you can go to Congressman Roll Comments website where they basically go over the eligibility terms for people such as qualifying with children, what age you have to be, what income limit you can make, and how this will work out for you. And also there's the bill attached to this as well. I've left some links down below in the description where you can go directly and see the proposal. I've also left a link to the PDF of the Senate bill that you can read for yourself. And if you're looking to sign any petitions, you can go to change.org. There's a link down below as well, where you can also sign up and get in on voicing your opinion on getting this next round of stimulus checks. If you do end up getting this new stimulus check and this bill does pass, consider investing in the stock market if you haven't already done so. For just $100, you can open up an account with Weeple and get two free stocks through the referral link below. You can also get another free stock through Robinhood by opening an account with them as well and depositing $100. And that's just $200 out of your $2,000. And this is a great time for you to get started in the stock market because a lot of blue chip stocks are below book value and you can still scoop up some great deals during this time. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you've learned anything from this video today, please be sure to hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you get notified each and every Friday. I post more helpful biz tips and tricks regarding personal finances, stock market, and real estate investing. Please be sure to hit the like button as well for the YouTube algorithm and also leave me down a comment below if you've got any questions or concerns that I can address for you. You can find me on Twitter where I talk about stocks and real estate daily. And you can also find me on Instagram where I post more helpful biz tips and tricks in different formats as well there too.